So I know this is supposed to be a summer vlog, but you know where my true heart lies at all times. So at the bookstore, we finally caved and got the Hocus Pocus book. Look at these pages. I'm obsessed. I love children's books more than I swear I do adult books sometimes, just because the art in them is just so beautiful. It's just so magical. Look at that. And I love this cover, but also Will and I thought about just leaving it out with the red hardback cover showing too, because that's crazy pretty too. Then I swear I have looked at these in Books A Million a thousand times, these covers of Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights. And I know I just did a vlog about how I literally have a thousand versions of these, but these are beautiful. And let me show you the inside. That's of Jane Eyre. And then on the inside of Wuthering Heights, just something about these covers, if I could have all of my books in this cover art, I would be so happy. Look how beautiful. Then Will was gone for the weekend and he came back with all these little Halloween decoration surprises. Look at these little pumpkins with the creepy faces on them. I don't know what it is about your little faces on pumpkins, but I love it. And then a little gnome with a jack-o'-lantern. I know this stuff is considered Halloween, but Will and I like this stuff just around our house in general. And I feel like these two could go well together. A little skull glass and another kind of orangish glass with a little hand chain and then a little skull moment up there. Another same one in red and these are all from at home. And at home literally just goes crazy for the holidays. So I'm glad he surprised me with this stuff. Then look at these shoes. I have been obsessed with decorative shoes, like Victorian, kind of gothic, dark academia style shoes for the longest time now. I don't know what it is, but they're just so cute and precious to me. Here's little school candles and one that's shaped in like a heart. It kind of gives me Edgar Allan Poe, Telltale Heart vibes. But all of these candles, they're like melting red candles. So when you light them, some red will start to show. I kind of want to put this in our library on one of the shelves and find some cool places for these things. I cannot believe he surprised me with all of this. Like he just knows, he knows me too well and what we love.
me down. I'm very excited for this. I'm a vanilla latte person and okay, it smells good. I don't know. There's something, I don't know if it's like an acquired taste or I love that the cans are super cute though. Yep, yep. I don't know. I don't know. I tried her cold brew one and it was, oh, it had the worst aftertaste. I'm sure people who love cold brew, maybe I just hate cold brew, but it, I did not like the aftertaste. Can we just talk about how one, I cannot paint and talk at the same time. I don't hate summer. I don't necessarily love summer, but I just cannot stand when I vocalize my excitement for autumn and just a lot of fall things and fall weather. And the summer people always shut me down. And I'm, I know there are fall lovers out there for some reason, I just don't think they're, they're nowhere near me, I guess. I guess my friends, my family, my sister, everybody's like, don't rush summer away. Don't rush it. It's just that I really, I love fall. I'm never going to grow out of that stage. I understand where the hype is over summer. I do, but I don't either. Yes, we get a break and I love, I love a good break, but also it's, Hot. Well, I love the warm weather. It's beautiful outside. Um, is it though? It's only 100% humidity. The moment I walk outside, I'm melting. The people are like, it's June. Why are you rushing things? I can't help that I'm excited for fall. In the winter, those same people are the ones who are like, I can't wait for summer. They never get any criticism. I want to be able to express that I'm excited for fall and not be criticized. Summer people are very vicious about their summertime. They don't want to feel like it's being rushed away. They don't even want you talking about the next season because they love summer that much. But at the same time, talking about fall isn't gonna make time go faster for either of us, sadly. I'm on that side of TikTok too, where people are like, they celebrate halfway to Halloween, which I didn't know was a thing until literally this year that people celebrate that, which is, that might be too much for me. I don't know if I could decorate for Halloween in June. I'll watch those TikToks though, I'll watch them. But I know there are people out there who love fall and are kind of wishing for it kind of like I am at this point. And there are, <laughs> then there are the people roasting them in the comments like it's June, chill out. At the beginning of June, I, I'm ready to embrace summer fully. And then as soon as the end of June hits and it's close to July, it's just unbearable. I don't want to be outside. We can't say the weather's beautiful anymore. It's just, there's nothing to do. I spend more time outside in the fall than I ever do in the summer. My point is, <laughs> I don't even know if there's a point. I'm just rambling. I think we should let people be excited for what they're excited about. It's not robbing you of your summer. Let people express their love for season. Let's save all that energy for the people who claim they don't have a favorite season. I'm sorry, you don't have a favorite, that's a red flag. You don't have a favorite season? I don't know of anybody else who loves fall as much as I do, except for my husband. Will loves fall probably just as much as I do. And we get to sit there and talk about how much we're so excited for fall. And I'm like, I married the right person. Also, before the summer ends though, this is so random. I've just been sitting here for the past like five minutes ranting about fall. But before I end this video, we are so close to being done with everything in the house. I know that you saw that we are painting the master bedroom. That's almost done. We got a few things to shift around up there. Before the summer's over, I do want to post a little house tour moment 
I don't know if you guys are obsessed with AD kind of like I am, but I love house tours. I could watch them forever. It's cool when people actually let their personalities reflect through their house. And we have come such a long way. This will be three years. We're going on three or four years of being in this house and we've done so much and I'm pretty proud of it. So that's a video I think I would like to post before the summer's over. But yeah, that's, I think that's where I'm going to end this video. I'm going to keep on painting and just relaxing and enjoying my time off and enjoying the summer for those summer people. I will be enjoying it, but when fall comes around, I'm going to be ready for it. <laughs>